Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. I am Safinx and in today's video we are finally going to be seeing my magic shop build, uh, my speed build. I have wanted to upload this for ages, I just never got it finished, I really wanted it done before Halloween. Obviously that didn't happen. Here we are today, I don't even know what day it is that this is being uploaded, probably middle of November. So quite a bit past when I wanted it up, but that's okay. It is up now. Welcome. Hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you have been watching my other videos, you will know that I have been building little custom built, but no custom content uh, items like my alchemy lab and my magic library. And they have been built specifically for this build here. So the build itself, the magic shop build itself, actually took three videos to make, including this one. Um, it took a long time. I would say, surprisingly, for this to be fully built, it probably was around seven hours of building altogether, including my alchemy table and my library and building it right here. It took a long time. There is a second part for this video. Oh, well. I could have put this video in this build into four videos rather than three because I also made a custom built wand stand. However, I just thought that I just added to this video because it less not long out the inevitable, you know, it was supposed to be out before Halloween and it wasn't. So, you know, I can't really push it any further. I will say though, I lost a lot of footage with this build when I was actually building the magic shop. For some reason, it was so annoying. I decorated the inside of the shop. I'd thankfully cut it into two pieces. So I'd built the outside of the shop. Then I'd put together the inside of the shop in a separate video. I went to go double check on those before I continued the build. And it turned out that my second video, the file was corrupt. So that was that completely gone. I'm not too upset about it. You can't see me place in my previous builds, but it's literally just place, placing a room down in a in a room I already had so it's it's not a big deal we're fine with that it, you don't really miss much content you get to see the entirety of the outside of the build with the outside of the build I added this extra stand I haven't actually added any items to it I kind of wanted it to be left free I couldn't work out whether I wanted to put some upright like bottles of ingredients on it whether I wanted to put uh like broomsticks on it wands on it like any of that so I left it plain here we've jumped to the actual outside when it's completely decorated and the inside I'm so sorry that you missed out on the content for that however you didn't miss too much the only thing that was missed really was all the faffing around of picking out what windows I wanted because that took ages what wall colors I wanted um, and I built a desk which was already pre-built so here you are watching me build my front desk where you go to pay. Now this took me such a long time because I really wasn't certain on how I wanted it to look. Um, and there wasn't a desk that I want that I liked. So I kind of made one myself. Um, you can't add a cash register unless you're actually in a work environment, which is really annoying. Even with all of the cheats on, I couldn't get the actual cash register so I ended up having to make one um, and I made it with debug items uh, with a planter with some I think what are they called uh, well boxes of some description like like uh, file boxes some stone blocks as a drawer and a wooden plank as the handle to the drawer and I just used a computer as the sort of uh, till screen per se um, I'm not 100% over, over the moon with the actual cash register. However, it's not really a big deal when it comes to the actual build because that's not the main attraction. I think the main attraction really is probably the library. Here we just jumped onto my uh, custom built wand stand. I wanted it to look like, um, kind of like a, I don't know if you call it like a file, like a vintage filing cabinet kind of thing. Uh, I wanted all of the drawers to be little drawers that you could pull out and inside of it would be some like wands maybe in boxes or whatever so that was like kind of the idea. The drawers ended up being made out of planter boxes from oh which pack is it? 
I'll have to put it into this video because I'm telling you my brain is completely dead. They ended up being planter boxes from whatever it is. Uh, I used the big and the small version. To begin with, I tried building all the drawers with the metal, uh, not metal, with the uh, stone blocks that I used for the drawer on the till, but I hated it and it didn't quite look right. And when I started placing these planter boxes down as drawers, I was like, yeah, these, these actually work a lot better. So that's why we went for those. I had some of the drawers left open and some of them closed. Um, I did add a few extra bits to the already built bits, like the library. I added some plants, uh, the blue, uh, what would you call that, like mossy stuff? I added that, I did add a couple more things as well to the library uh, cabinets that, you, uh, that I put down below. Um, I added a few extra things to the alchemy lab as well. I added some really cute little lights. I bought the Star Wars pack, the um, uh, Batu. I can't remember the name of it, but I bought that pack and actually it's crazy and I love it and I've used so many of the items from it. Here you can see with my alchemy lab that I did add quite a few other things. I found a whole skeleton that came with the get to work pack. Uh, and so I had to add that behind our little alchemy lab because I just thought it looked really cool. With the ones, I just, I did originally want to turn them up on their sides and have them look like they were floating, but I was worried that it wouldn't look like they were floating and instead it would just look like I'd place them down wrong. So I decided against that. I decided to just have them laid down, sort of scattered about. I had some books in the bigger drawer that was open because for the life of me, I could, I, I'm honestly the laziest person ever. I could not be bothered to find a million and one ones to fill that drawer up with uh the drawers here I ended up just sc scattering just a couple of ones in there but I didn't really go crazy with it because you're not really I just don't think that you'd really pay enough attention to it and in this corner here I struggled a little bit of working out what I wanted to do with it so I ended up going with a sort of crystal station uh we'll get back to that later I added a load of um signs to all the drawers I'm obsessed with the signs I just have to add them to everything I also put all of the feathers up on the wall you know how when you pick up the feathers they turn into framed pictures of like what bird it came from I really love that and I thought it looked really like rustic and old so I thought that that would go really well with this shop I suppose you could buy those maybe um added some shelves to the wall um and I just started to just scatter around a load of crystals the big and the small I went with all the different colors I wanted everything out um this is just it's more of like a display I suppose when people come in they can have a look at the crystals and pick which ones they wanted sort of take them off the shelves or whatever so I did scatter a load of those around and I actually really enjoyed playing around with this I did have a bit of problems with putting them on top of that uh, table and I also wanted to check out whether I could put those big clay blobs down but they did just end up turning into the actual like vases or pictures or whatever it was so I uh, scrapped that idea because that didn't quite go with it I was surprised at how many crystals there are. Also, there's that sort of multicolored one that I swapped around onto the table because I love it. If that is a real crystal, I want it. It's like, like purple, uh, pink, green, like, so, oh, I just love it. I just think it was so cool. So then I just started adding little bits. I found this briefcase of money in and I decided that I wanted to use it as like, to make it look like there was like money coming out of the till it was the most pointless thing ever but I actually really liked it so <laughs> it was fine by me but yeah that was my build that's literally it I'm just showing you around it I hope you wanted to enjoy uh download this I think this build is a really cool one it is a little bit late and it's not Halloween anymore but you know you can still download it and play it if you really like the magic uh magic pack and you wanted to add a little shop, you could literally download, if you have a get to work pack, you can have this as a shop and put everything up for sale. It'd be extremely tedious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. That last bit of me showing you around was the most sketchy thing ever, so I apologize. If you did like my video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, answer any of my random questions if I asked any, let me know how your day is going or what you'd liked or didn't like about the video, any video ideas. Uh, subscribe to me if you'd like to see more, it'd be really helpful for me. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.